जी सलाम टू ऑल ऑफ दी ऑडियंस होपफुली मेरा इंट्रोडक्शन तो थोड़ा बहुत पहले से होगा हो गया होगा बट आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ लिटल बिट मोर इन डिटेल तो आई एम टोल के आई हैव अबाउट ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी मिनट्स मेरा प्लान ऐसा नहीं है कि आई वुड लेक्चर यू फॉर ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी मिनट्स प्लान मेरा ये है कि मैं इन शाला आपको थोड़ी सी बेसिक चीज़ें इंट्रोड्यूस करवाऊँगा तो मैं बात ये कर रहा था कि ऑल दो लुक्स लाइक आई हैव ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी मिनट्स बट आई डोंट प्लान टू एक्चुअली यूज ऑल ऑफ दोज ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी मिनट्स मेरा प्लान ये है कि आई विल गिव यू सम इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी एंड वाई यू शुड बी थिंकिंग अबाउट नंबर ऑफ एरियस इन इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी एंड स्टार्ट अप लेकिन मेरा प्लान ये है कि मैं आपको प्लेंटी ऑफ टाइम दूँ ताकि आप कोई क्वेश्चन अगर आप करना चाहें तो दैट वुड बी मोर प्रोडक्टिव डिस्कशन एक्चुअली तो लेट मी स्टार्ट विज लिटल बेट ऑफ माई सेल्फ मेरा इंट्रोडक्शन आई थिंक थोड़ा बहुत आपको मिल गया होगा आई वॉज बोर्न एंड रेस इन डिस्ट्रिक्स रगोदा उसके बाद लाहौर में आई स्पेंड क्वाइट सम टाइम मैट्रिक के बाद मैं लाहौर में आ गया था तो आई डेट एफ एस सी फ्राम गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज लाहौर एंड देन आई वन टू यू टी लाहौर फ्राम देर आई डेट माई बैचलर्स एंड मास्टर्स these days i live in uh, columbus ohio it is a, a little bit smaller state uh, if you if you can imagine new york so it is about 600 miles west of new york so that's the general area where i live pichle koi 20 saal se mera experience mostly cyber security mein hai although i started my career in uh, computer networking operating system some application development पाकिस्तान में जब मैं था तो राइट आउट ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी आई स्टार्टेड माई करियर एक्चुअली इन स्टार्टअप कंपनीज एक नेटवर्किंग कंपनी के साथ मैंने कुछ देर काम किया फिर उसके बाद मिड नाइन्टीज में यहाँ पे ऑनलाइन इंटरनेट सर्विसेज बिल्कुल अभी आई नहीं थी लोग मोस्टली ऑफलाइन ईमेल उस वक्त भेजा करते थे तो आई गार्ड एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू वर्क विद इनिशियल कपल ऑफ ऑनलाइन कंपनीज आई सेट अप देयर सिस्टम्स देन आई फाउंडेड पाकिस्तान ऑनलाइन दैट वाज द फर्स्ट मेजर इंटरनेट सर्विस प्रोवाइडर इन पाकिस्तान सो वी स्टार्टेड आवर सर्विसेज विद लाहौर देन वी मूव टू इस्लामाबाद देन गुजरामवाला एंड कराची सो इट वाज अ डिसेंट साइजेबल इंटरनेट सर्विसेज कंपनी इन पाकिस्तान उसके बाद आई मूव टू यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स यहाँ पे आई वर्क एज कंसल्टेंट इन अ नंबर ऑफ डिफरेंट एरियाज आई ऑल्सो फाउंडेड अ कंपनी हियर अराउंड 2005 2006 दैट वाज मोर ऑफ वेट लिस्ट मैनेजमेंट कंपनी एसएमएस सर्विसेज फॉर रियली पॉपुलर एट दैट टाइम दिस इज प्री स्मार्टफोन टाइम तो Uh, हमारी एक रेस्टोरेंट मैनेजमेंट की उसमें जो वेट लिस्ट होती हैं विदाउट गोइंग इन टू टू मच डिटेल इट वॉज अ गुड कंपनी वी स्टार्टेड वी वर्क ऑन इट फॉर अबाउट टू ईयर्स देन वी सोल दिस कंपनी फॉर अ डिसेंट अमाउंट ऑफ मनी आफ्टर दैट आई हैव बिन डूइंग मोस्टली कंसल्टिंग वर्क एंड मोस्टली फोकसिंग ऑन इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी एट द सेम टाइम आई कंटिन्यू माई education which i believe all of us now are living in a universe where uh, knowledge is being created all the time and you have to continuously update your skills and uh, learn new things and maybe unlearn old things so uh, that is a, a little bit about myself uh, hopefully you will get some idea about where i may be coming from so uh, let's talk about uh information security and uh, why it is important <clears throat> so i will start with uh, some of the Uh, news clips here uh, before actually talking about why and what of the information security so currently we are using uh, service zoom um, and this is a clip actually uh, um, very recent uh, about a month ago uh, this company zoom was fined 85 million dollars uh, they they made a settlement with uh, different agencies and uh, Uh, different states in united states and the reason for this uh, i am sure you are already aware of 
जब कोविड स्टार्ट हुआ तो लॉट ऑफ पीपल वेंट ऑनलाइन एंड दे स्टार्टेड यूजिंग जूम एंड जूम डिड नॉट हैव वेरी गुड सिक्योरिटी बिल्ट इन टू दी प्लेटफॉर्म सो यू मे हैव हर्ड अबाउट जूम बॉम्बिंग लाइक पीपल ज्वाइनिंग जूम कॉल्स एंड शेयरिंग मटीरियल दैट दे वर नॉट सपोज टू शेयर एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट Uh, so because of that zoom has to suspend a lot of their development and they focused only on information security for 3 4 months they improved their services uh, but essentially it was not enough uh, to uh, satisfy the regulators and they still um, had to make this settlement for 85 million dollars so that is just one thing that you may want to think about that information security issues although many people may not be concerned about in the startup company but eventually they come to bite you and you have to fix those ones and uh, in some cases have to pay a uh, handsome money uh this is another news clip uh, this is from uh, uh the perspective of security of your intellectual property your source code the software that you are developing other um, non software intellectual property uh, so this person who was uh, executive at google at one point he was sentenced um, you know 18 months jail time basically for stealing uh, google is working on self driving cars so this person is alleged to steal Uh, some of the secrets some of the code uh, and take it to the new uh, employer and later it was found that he stole that intellectual property and uh, he is sent to jail uh, a third clip uh, again another self driving company uh, electric car company tesla probably you know uh, tesla uh, another person same kind of scenario uh, stole autopilot source code and um, later uh, he he kind of uh, acknowledged that he has done it and uh, um, then it was uh, it, it, this thing is still ongoing and there would be uh, some major developments in coming days and weeks and so on so the purpose of um, sharing all of this information with you is that in the startup uh, organization startup companies there are few things that people should be specially uh, careful about which most of the times they are not um, understandably because unka kaam is waqt ye chal raha hota hai ke they have to develop their product they have to take the product to the market they have to raise money so there are a lot of things that they are concerned about and information security is one of the things that is kind of on back burner and people say okay we will see uh, when time comes and we will take care of it at a later stage uh, so that is usually forgotten uh, but many times it may have uh, significant consequences like in the cases of uh, you know many of these startup companies um, uh, they kind of fail to protect their source code intellectual property uh, some uh, key partner or key employees in the initial stages they leave the company and they join some other company or they start their own companies and they become the immediate competitors so <clears throat> few things that i would like to um, emphasize about why part now first of all uh, as i mentioned uh, the information security used to be an afterthought it is still an afterthought Uh, but most of the organizations now they are looking at right from the beginning number one how they can safeguard their intellectual property number two how they can build software or services that are secure so people cannot hack into those ones and later on uh, cannot create issues uh, and problems for the startup companies um, even when you are not working in a software development scenario uh, you still have to stand up your website Uh, you still have to do something like register people online so basic type of things are always there and many times the applications that you put online if they are not properly built if they are not properly tested for security uh usme aapko bahut sari problems aa sakti hain ki log usko hack kar sakte hain aur usme aapke liye uh, problems create kar sakte hain third thing uh, that i would like to emphasize is uh, uh 
in Pakistan, there are some laws and regulation, but internationally, hopefully you will grow at some point. Uh, when you take your startup company international and you start working with people who are living, for example, in uh, United States or living in, for example, in European Union, there are a lot of laws and regulations that uh, have come in last like four or five years. Uh, mostly your laws have wo privacy ke around them. Okay, how you are supposed to protect the data that you're collecting from your customer. Their username, password, start with that. Uh, but there are other information, like their email addresses, like their phone numbers, like their home addresses, how you're going to protect those ones. So if you don't protect those, uh, you cannot do business uh, at a global scale. So you have to think about uh, the security and privacy of the customer information. L lately, what I would say is, okay, without information security, uh, you would be not very competitive in the marketplace because when you start growing a little bit, uh, everybody is going to, your investors, your customers, everybody is going to ask you about what are your security controls? What are your privacy controls? And you have to show them about what you are doing to protect the information. You have to show them that you have a strategy for information security and you have to convince them that you are able to protect the intellectual property as well as customer information. So these are the kind of questions that you are going to come across as soon as you start going for uh, sizable funding and uh, uh, expanding your organization. So uh, our focus here is uh, about what are some of the things that you should be thinking about? Um, some of those things uh, are really related to startup companies and others are you know, for the larger organizations. So I would not go into things which are really specific to larger organization. I will focus most of my discussion on the startup companies. So <clears throat> when you think about information security, what it is all about. It is, it is only about these three things. Uh, number one, confidentiality. And confidentiality basically means that the data and information that you have, uh, no one else who is not supposed to know and have access to that information, they should not be able to access that information. That's the confidentiality. Uh, number two, integrity, which basically means that the information and data that you have, it, it is reliable and nobody is able to change it. Uh, so you can trust the data and information that you have, basically protecting the integrity of uh, information. And last one is the availability, which basically means that um, uh, your data is available when it is needed, your application, your website, your email, everything, when you need it, it should be available. So if you want to think at a broader scale, these are the three things that you should be thinking about when thinking about information security. So confidentiality, availability, and integrity. Sometimes people say it is a CIA triad. And uh, if you want to remember it, you can remember it as CIA as acronym. Uh, but think about all the time uh, how, you can, how you can take care of all of these three things uh, from your startup perspective. And then uh, what are the specific things? So those were the like very high level um, objectives, but specifically what you should be thinking about. Uh, so I just wanna give you a few ideas. Uh, these are the 10 main things that I listed here. I will go through all of these 10 things one by one very quickly. Communication security, which basically means you're using your emails, you're using social media, uh, you have um, uh, communication on, uh, maybe web forums, maybe on website, you have uh, some place where you can communicate with your customer. Maybe you are sending newsletter, things like that. So you want to make sure that all of these things are secure. Uh, you want to make sure that when you send email, there is proper signature, there is confidentiality statement at the end of your emails uh, and so on. So think about everything that you put there in social media and email that is going to stay there forever, even when you delete it. So if you are making a post, for example, um, and many times people are uh, believing that if they delete it, it is gone. And many times people think about if they post something on their website, if they delete it, uh, change it after 
uh, you know, day, two days, uh, two weeks, that it would be gone. Essentially, everything that we put there, it stays forever, and there are ways for everybody actually to get the history of what has been done on your social media accounts and, and emails and so on. So, so keep that in mind that whenever you need to communicate with people, everything that you are doing and saying, uh, you are doing it right. One of the main thing that people do by mistake in email is they make attachments. So for example, this is a common thing that people see in information security that your customer list would be attached to email and you will by mistake send it to wrong email address or uh, you will uh, upload for example uh, your source code to github and you will forget to remove um, api keys or you know passwords and so on so be very careful when you're communicating internally and externally second thing about website security i'm sure everybody is going to put a website at some point uh, if you are putting anything uh, like web forms where people can input the information, um, you are opening yourself to uh, attacks on your website. So you just want to make sure that every time you make a change, you the the, the website is properly tested. Or it is very complicated to test website. Both are online and uh, um, commercial. Uh, tools be available and open source tools be available and so you can you can do your website testing by yourself or you can have somebody who knows a little bit about information security and test your website uh, number three is no brainer everybody knows it, we should have antivirus anti-malware uh, number four uh, patching uh, that is again one of the commonly forgotten things especially for startup companies for example you have let's say a, a web server in AWS um, and your application is running on it. So many times people would forget to patch. Uh, there are number of vulnerabilities identified all the time and you have to apply those patches. So it is not only about servers, but you may have desktops, you, may, you have uh, your mobile devices. So patching is very important. Number five, uh, at some point you're going to collect some customer data, uh, no matter how small or big it is. Uh, you have the responsibility to protect that data, as I mentioned. Uh, there are a number of regulations. Uh, when you start expanding your business, uh, you will have a lot of inquiries about how you are protecting your customer data, and you should have the right strategy and answers for that. Uh, intellectual property, and I've said about it, uh, very crucial for you. Uh, I have seen so many times, um, as I showed you in some of the recent news clips as well, that um, Number of people, they start companies, partners split. Uh, they have, uh, uh, you know, their internal fights and sometimes uh, they disagree on where the, the organization should be going and intellectual property is uh, stolen. You, you feed your competitors and so on. So make sure that there are um, controls in place. And there are many ways, um, if you want to go in detail at some point, there are many ways uh, actually in, in number eight as well, where I mentioned uh, protecting your source code, you can you can implement controls where one developer does not have access to all of your source code. So even if they steal something, they are not stealing all of your application. Uh, and and whatever they steal, it is at least a part, not the whole thing. A lot of people are going to cloud. It is uh, a, a very different way of doing business. Security in the cloud is very different than security of your own servers and workstations. So uh, if you are doing something in the cloud, you should understand how cloud works. And uh, I have seen that most of the data breaches are happening because people don't understand how to implement security in the cloud. Uh, last two things, uh, very quickly again, uh, at some point there is some incident that is going to happen, which basically means you will have some security issues. So you should have some plans about how you're going to deal with it. Um, there may be some ransomware may encrypt your machines and you wanna make sure that you have proper backups so you can restore your systems and compliance with the regulation and laws. So let me stop here and see if you have any question. This is actually my last slide that has um, um, major content on it. Uh, but let me know if, if you have any questions, comment about these 10 things or anything else that you wanna ask me about what you should be doing for your startup companies. 
Okay, um, so um, let me give you three takeaways. If you wanna have something that you wanna remember from um, this session. So number one, uh, build a cybersecurity strategy. Although it may be insignificant at this point, but build your cybersecurity strategy. If you are making a, your business pitch to any investors or any outside organizations, Make sure that you are ready to answer this question. What is your cybersecurity strategy? How you protect data? You should be able to answer that basic question. If you're not able to answer that basic question, uh, I think you may have some issues if, you, if somebody asks you when you are making your presentation. So that's number one thing. Number one takeaway, if you, if you wanna remember. Uh, so, so keep that in mind. Number two, protect your intellectual property. So. Uh, I'm sure probably there are some other sessions about patents and so on, how to protect your intellectual property. But many times you don't have only patents, you have con confidential source codes, you have uh, your future growth plans. There are many other things that are not protected by patents. Um, so you should be making sure that you have your strategy includes how you are going to protect uh, your strategy, your plan, your source code, your application, and so on. Uh, and focusing on the data leakage. So that is the second takeaway that you wanna uh, remember from this session. And last thing, uh, number three, uh, I would strongly suggest that you should add somebody on your board, maybe as a security advisor, maybe as a permanent member of your board uh, who can advise you on a continuous basis about how to develop your software applications, how to protect your data from communication perspective, how to build your strategy and so on. Uh, the reason I'm saying that you should have somebody like that because it is a specialized field. And most of the times when uh, you are building your startup company, you are focusing on many other areas. So you are not focusing on security. So there should be somebody who has uh, the knowledge and expertise in this area. Uh, if you can't afford the cost of hiring somebody, uh, think about using uh, equity in your organization. Uh, I have seen some of the security advisors, they join organizations in startups somewhere between two to 4% of the equity that is uh, typical that people may be um, asking you. So, so these are the three uh, takeaways from this session. Um, I, I'm just going to repeat once again, think about the cybersecurity strategy. Think about how you are going to protect your intellectual property beyond patents and think about how at some point you are going to bring somebody with expertise in information security as part of your team or as an advisor, maybe part of your board. Uh, Hassan Saab, yeah. I think that's all I had. And yeah. uh, with that, uh, I think I'm close to my 30 minutes as well, but I will, uh, I will open up once again for any questions, comments. Right, uh, we have a question here. So um, somebody will come here in front of the camera and they will ask. Go ahead. Oh, sir, how are you? Good. Hello, can you hear me, sir? Gigi, I can hear you. Yes, sir. So basically, I have two questions. First of all, whenever uh, you have an idea in your mind or uh, you're uh, about to take a startup, so obviously you have to share it with your partners and the potential investors. So at some point, uh, there is possibility most of the time that your idea uh, is disclosed and there, there are chances of uh, stealing the, your idea. So yes. in that case, what to do? Like obviously when you're uh, going to uh, convince your investor, uh, you have to tell the details. You have to convince him, you have to take him into your confidence. So yes. uh, like, uh, let me give an example as well. Microsoft, Bill Gates was also accused of stealing ideas at some point in the early yes. 90s. Yeah. So most uh, start uh, uh, entrepreneurs uh, who lack resources, how they can uh, save their ideas and what to do in this scenario. And okay, second, question, yeah. And second question is, uh, what's the next step? Like, if your idea has been stolen, so what to do then? Like, apart from just uh, suing someone. You're obviously uh, you're uh, uh, you lack resources, funding, and then you cannot go for legal proceedings, especially when you have to uh, take a startup. 
that's also ji bade bade aham question hai iska kuch taluq information security se hai kuch ka taluq just aapke regular ways of doing business se so you you are absolutely right when you are in a startup organization you are going to share your idea you are going to share a lot of information with a lot of people <laughs> investors potential customers potential uh, um, you know people you are hiring and so on so there is one very common thing that is done in which is non disclosure agreement so if you have not yet talked about non disclosure agreements you you should uh, have some idea about those ones um, which basically mean non disclosure agreement could be very complicated it, and these could be one pages so i have signed non disclosure agreements like just one page i have signed non disclosure agreements which are like you know 10 page long which basically means that you should be uh, making sure that anybody who you share information with uh, first they sign the non disclosure agreement only then you share you it is a common practice i don't think any investors or other people they would hesitate or they would say no we don't want to uh, sign the non disclosure so nda is very common thing uh, the second thing that you want to make sure that uh, there are plenty of ideas that are um, that are created and majority of those ideas are not implemented uh the second thing that you want to make sure is that uh, focus on implementation uh, so even when people have uh, your idea uh, who can implement that idea that makes it actually more crucial for success or failure of the startup company the third thing i don't know if uh, i don't know a lot now about the current laws and regulations within pakistan um in the united states there is something we call provisional patent which basically means that when you don't have a patent which takes a longer time you can submit it if a basically very small application that gives you what they call provisional patent with a very small fee so that protects your idea now if somebody steals your idea obviously law enforcement uh, is very crucial wherever you are doing business and uh, um i'm not sure what is the situation of law enforcement uh, in intellectual property in pakistan at this point but these are two three things that you should be thinking about but i would suggest uh, ndas uh, if there is a prov provisional patent um, option in pakistan do that and third more uh, focus more on protection of how your idea is being implemented which could be um if it is a software type or startup company then protect your in source code if it is non software type company protect your designs uh, the kind of materials the kind of designs that you are doing that is your intellectual property that you should be thinking about so you don't need to share your designs with investors you don't need to share those kind of things uh, with uh, your initial customers and so on so i hope i answered your questions <laughs>